Hi guys, today's is going to be a very quick one on how to control the Abris and the very basics of it, but also one or two functions you may not have known about the rotary that makes it move really quickly and exactly like you want it to, getting to where you need it very quickly. So the Abris has these five function select keys or FSKs right at the bottom and just above it on the screen it'll show what that key does at that moment in that context. Bottom right is usually cancelling the current function or getting back to a main page. The main page is our menu, which you start on, and if you press nav, which is then at the bottom right, FSK, then it moves to the nav page, as you can see on the top left. From there it goes to arc, then HSI, back to menu, then back to nav. You'll probably spend most of your time on the nav page. Now additionally, you've got this uh, row tree on the left, which is purely for brightness. The only time you really need to use that is maybe in lower light or night conditions, then it helps tuning that down just a little bit. And then the rotary on the right, which you can both left click and drag on to turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise, as well as right clicking on it to push it in. Right clicking it generally selects a function or changes axes that you might have been moving around on, on a map. Or it changes a field if it's a setting. Now as for the left click, if you left click on it and drag anywhere from the pure right direction all the way through any of the top directions to just above pure left it will turn the knob clockwise if you click and drag to the left and anywhere through the bottom directions all the way to pure just underneath pure right it'll move it anti-clockwise in addition the direction you drag it in exactly affects the speed at which the rotary turns by a drastic amount. If you clicked and dragged it top right, it would move the fastest it can in the clockwise direction. If you click and drag it bottom left, it moves the fastest it can in the bottom left direction. So I'll show a diagram in which it shows you the various speeds it moves if you drag in that direction. Now this direction is based on what you are currently moving the mouse in. So you can click and drag and then go top right to go maximum clockwise and then quickly to move it a little bit back in the anti-clockwise direction, select another option, you quickly move it to the bottom right and it moves anti-clockwise very slowly. And you don't need to re-click and drag it from scratch unless you run out of screen space, of course. Now in general, clockwise moves it down lists and anti-clockwise moves it up lists. Uh, some of the lists do wrap around, so sometimes you can move it anti-clockwise to quickly skip right to the bottom of the list. Also, if you're dealing on the map with moving a cursor around, then moving it clockwise moves it to the right, anti-clockwise to the left. If you push the rotary in, it changes the axis, so clockwise goes up, anti-clockwise goes down. So essentially you've got this little connect where it works in terms of right goes right, up goes up left goes left, down goes down, depending on the axis you have currently selected or which direction in between. Finally, dealing with alphabets and characters, if you were to move it clockwise, then it'll first go through symbols, then up numbers, and then it hits the alphabet from A all the way down to Z. If you start moving it anti-clockwise, it'll jump straight to Z and then go back up the alphabet, numbers, then symbols. That's it for this episode. This is Volk, Join me next time for info, search, and your BL. Cheers.